everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I finally get to start planting things up in my yard and I'm going to be using three types of plants, two annuals and one perennial. Now if you don't know the difference between annuals and perennials, annuals are plants that will uh, grow fast in the spring, summer, and fall and then they'll, in the winter they'll die off and they won't be hardy enough to uh, survive winter and they won't come back next year. Perennials grow a little bit slower However, they will survive winter temperatures depending on your zone and, and what plant you're planting, and um, they'll come back next year. So the first annual that I'm going to be planting is this coleus called redhead coleus. This plant will get about 3 feet tall and about 16 to 20 inches wide, and I'm going to be planting this one in a group so that it will be a whole group of coleus together. The next one that I'm going to be planting is a uh, Supertunia called Supertunia Vista Snowdrift. This one gets to be about uh, 12 to 24 inches high and about um, 12 to 18 inches wide. And this one I'm going to be planting around my pond, on, e on each side of my pond. And then the last type of plant that I'm going to be planting today is a perennial and it's a hosta called Empress Wu Hosta. And this one I am most excited about out of this group of plants because this one I have other hostas in my front yard and they stay they get about one maybe two feet tall this one will get up to four feet tall and six feet wide so I'm very excited about where I'm going to be putting this one because I think it's going to look great so now I'll show you where I'm going to be planting all these all right so this is where I'm going to be putting the redhead coleus um, in between them there's going to be a section of grass and you can ignore the um, edging that I have there I just have that temporarily because I'm going to be redoing the grass in this area and then once the grass grows in, I'm going to be removing that. Um, and then in front of it, all that's going to be rocked in. I'm kind of in the middle of that right now. So on either side of, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's some steps right there. Um, on either side of those steps is where I'm going to plant these coleus. So let me swing the camera around to the front so you can kind of see what it looks like from the front. All right, so there's the steps. And then I'll have some coleus over on this side and then I'll have it over on this side on each side of the steps. So next I'll show you where I'm going to put the hostas. So with these hostas getting uh, six, uh, four feet high and six feet wide, I want to put them quite a ways away from each other because I do not want them to touch and form a hedge. I want them to be a single plant. So I have this one over here. It's up next to the bricks and then in front of the bricks it's all going to be rocked in. And I kind of want the hostas to grow over the bricks a little bit. And then the one in the back there, I have it in front of a power pole to kind of distract from the ugliness of the pole there. And then over here, I have a grouping of trees. And I'm going to be planting one right in the middle of those. These will need a part shade to full shade. So right now it's a little bit sunny on these two and then this one's getting shade. Um, but this is the evening time and this is the only time that they're going to be getting sun. So they'll, be, they'll do really good here. So now let me show you where I'm going to be putting the uh, Supertunia Snowdrift. Alright, so now I finally get to start planting things around my pond. Um, I have three over here on the left side and three over on the right. Uh, let me get it a little closer so you can see. But I'm going to plant these close enough to where they'll either touch or almost touch and fill in the sides of the pond. And then I'll eventually be planting something over in front of the pond. And then I have the other three over here. So now I'll go ahead and get started planting all these up.
so I have everything planted and watered in really good. So I have two extra plants here um, that I didn't use. So I'm going to be turning this old fountain into a planter. Um, this used to have three buckets on it, but I used the third bucket for the top of my water wheel. And this thing leaked really bad, so I didn't want to use it as a fountain anymore. I've already drilled uh, holes for um, drainage in the bottom, but I'm going to need to drill a hole in each of these that's a little bit bigger so that I can run drip, drip tubing up through the bottom. So let me go ahead and show you how I'm going to do that. Alright, so you can see that I have the three drain holes already drilled in here. So I'm just going to come over here to the side and use the drip tubing that I'm going to be using is a quarter inch drip tubing. So I'm going to use a half inch drill bit to drill the hole for it on the side. Alright, so now I'm just going to take the um, quarter inch drip tubing and run it through the bottom. And then I'll cut the extra off. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom bucket and then connect the two with a uh, T connector. So now I've got my T connector. All right, so now that I have the T connector on there, I can go ahead and hook up the other line. And then this line will connect to the main drip line in the area that I'm going to be putting this in. Alright, so now I can go ahead and get started planting these. Um, you probably noticed that I used the uh, Biotone Starter Fertilizer when I was planting the other things. Um, this fertilizer is a um, slow release fertilizer and basically this will help the roots grow in strong. So that's why I'm using it. I use this on everything that I plant and anything that I have to transplant. I'll use this to help give the roots a boost. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started planting these. So I have the emitter put on the end of the drip tubing. So now all I have to do is put a stake, put it on a stake. So that I can direct it exactly where I want it to be.
All right, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.